Hey, what's going on? Everybody from the YouTube family. This is Danny again with Mesa Towing, located here in Spring Valley, California. So, I had made a previous video on this uh, 2013 BMW 35i. is uh drive 35i X6 model. Beautiful SUV, as you can see right here. So anyways, I mean, so pretty much the whole purpose of this video is so you guys could see how to bleed the cooling system. And I also wanted to pinpoint something else. Okay, you know that it was giving me a lot, a lot, a lot of trouble with this one here. Okay, this car, it comes with the electric water pump. You see the little water squirting out? Okay, so this is how you bleed it. In case it you never bled before in the electric uh, water pump. You come here. I'm gonna go ahead and start the whole process all over again. So you come here to the dash. I mean, inside, hit the inside of the car. You grab your key, and you're gonna go ahead and put the key in the ignition switch. Okay, this is how you bleed. Oops. <laughs> this is how you're supposed to bleed an electric water pump. So you grab. Your key, you put it. You put it in here. You push it in. The light right there is gonna come on. You don't put your foot on the brake. You put it on the gas. Push it in. Hold it in. You turn on the lights on the dash, and then you can hold it in one more time. Well, there it is. So now you count one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You let go of the gas. Okay. Don't forget to put, you know, your your heater on auto. You put on auto, and it's gonna go all the way to eighty four. Depends in what place you are in. If it, if you if, if you are here in the U S. or you know, maybe like another country where if the setting is different, just put it all the way to the hottest. Okay, and it's better if you put it all the way down to, well, it's on auto, so it's going to go automatically on that. And then what you do, you come out here to the front, and now you're going to see inside of the reservoir, water right here is squirting out. When you have, when you have air, and, and and inside of the lines of the cooling system, you're not going to see the water coming out like this. You're going to see like little bubbles coming out, like a little bit of spitting out, kind of like that. You see that? And then it starts squirting out pretty strong. That's because it's still air pockets in there. Okay. So the issue with this car was at first that this racer bore it had it actually had a leak underneath right here behind. Let me go ahead and show you what around where here's the car okay driver's side so it was like underneath between underneath right here all the way underneath the canister so we replaced it and uh in the process of that we also did a radiator flush we bled the cooling system over and over and over and over again and for some reason, you know, it just it wasn't working. What the car was doing, every time that we would go ahead and take it for a little test drive. Right here on the screen, it will come out this little sign saying something about switching to safety mode. And it wouldn't allow the car to go any faster than, I believe it was like 30 miles per hour. And then right here, it showed the temperature. Um, uh, uh, sign like as far as the car getting overheated, okay. You know, and then we had to go ahead and park and let it cool down for a little bit, check the water, you know, and all that, and then let it cool down, then get back in, start up, and then go again. Then it was, it will kept on doing, you know, the same thing over and over again. So at first, we thought that it was going to be air pockets. But no, it wasn't that. It turned out to be the temperature sensor. And let me show you where the temperature sensor is at. I'm going to go ahead and step back. 
that way you guys could see here's the front of the car and now i'm gonna walk right here slowly so that way you guys could see here's the motor i don't know if your guys's motor is going to look anything like this but right here that's the sensor that sensor right there okay what you do you grab that little plug right there this little wire you pull that one out and then you pull out the plug and there's the sensor take that one off we went i went down to this uh very very good uh auto parts that is new right here in san diego it's called dart d-a-r auto parts they're located in chula vista really good prices i bought that sensor for a bmw this one here for only 20 bucks believe it or not yep 20 bucks brand spanking new i came back in here put it back on plug everything in and i blew my cooling system again and i went for a spin and the car ran beautiful the overheating problem disappeared the only reason why i'm doing this right now because i had to go ahead and add up again antifreeze antifreeze again so and by the way in case you guys want to know what kind of antifreeze this type of car takes this is the one that it takes okay and it's going to tell you right here look bmw all oh, right there you see that screenshot of those that's the reason why i'm holding it kind of long here so that way you guys could see let me go ahead and pull it back like this that, that way you guys can go ahead and screenshot it okay and now i'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more antifreeze right here and make sure that when you guys are bleeding your cone system make sure that you guys keep it like right about right there okay that way you can have plenty 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 of water and antifreeze for the car to be able to bleed itself look at that you see that see that little bubble and the reason why i like to fill it up like that because you can see the hole for the bleeding is right about right about here like down here so I like to cover it so that way I can see the bubbles coming out look it's gonna go down right now you can see from where the water score is squirting now hey junior what are you doing? Okay. We gotta get this one down too, okay? Sorry, fellas, okay? I mean, we're still working late right now. But this is how you bleed your cooling system. Okay, you know, some of the other videos it says that it only takes 12 minutes. Okay. Um, not for me. I like to make sure that the car is not gonna overheat. Okay, any kind of air pockets that you leave right there and there, and for some reason, let's say your temperature sensor, you're not, I mean, it's not working, or you guys are playing the system loud, and we're carrying on inside the car, and you don't hear your car overheating, you can blow a head gasket, or you can end up blowing, you know, the heads and the head gasket, and there's going to be one one uh, expensive uh, ride that you guys can take. So, I'd rather just make sure you know that everything is going to be right. So, if I'm mistaken, I believe it stopped right now. It's already been 12 minutes. The car automatically stopped by itself. So I'm going to go back again and reset it. Restart it all over again. So what you do, you come back here. You hit the key one time. Okay. Put your foot on the gas all the way down. Then you can hold it. Until you see these lights come on. One, two three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay take your foot off the pedal yes pedal and let's go back here again and there it is
Well, she can see right now. He's bleeding himself again. You see that? So I hope this video is going to help you guys out on how to bleed your cooling system. Remember, if you keep on bleeding the cooling system and for some reason, look at me, the car still gets overheated. And you do step by step. How are you supposed to do it and the car still keeps going? Okay, by the way, if you put the scanner on it, the scanner is not going to tell you that the cooling, uh, that uh, the temperature sensor is bad. Because I put the scanner on this, on this one here and it didn't tell me that. In fact, it show all the sensors green uh, for the smog and all that. I mean, this car is ready to pass smog. But uh, other than that, I mean, you know, it just didn't it didn't show me, didn't tell me anything as far as about the temperature sensor. Look, there it is. You see that? So make sure you know. Oh, and the best way for you guys to be able to check to see if the temperature sensor is bad, make sure that you guys leave the key on like this. And go to the front and disconnect the temperature sensor. If the fans turn on, it's a sign that the sensor is actually bad. Okay? I don't know how that works, but yeah, this is how it is. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this up with water. Oops. A little bit too much. It's kind of cool how it moves, huh? The more water you keep, the more better that the pump is going to work. Look at that air pocket. That little bubble coming in. And believe it or not, those little bubbles right there is what makes your car get, you know, um, get overheated. I hope this video is going to help you guys out. Please subscribe to the channel. Let's make it happen. And let's make it happen. We do a little bit of everything. We do from auto body and pain to uh, engine work. We do towing. We do cash for cars. We buy, sell vehicles. We do auto detailing. And we also do a little bit of motivational speaking too. I like to stay positive. You know, and... I'm a very strong believer in God, number one. Okay, you know, and number two, I believe in myself. Because you can believe in God all you want, but if you don't believe in yourself, it's not going to do any good for you because you're the one who's going to make it happen. Okay, you know, remember what God says. Okay, you know, if you want me to help you, you got to help yourself. So, just trying to throw this video out there. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, please, please, please be safe and be blessed. Okay? Listen to that. How it keeps going nonstop. It's taking all the air out, completely out from the, from the, from the lines. Okay, so I'm going to be taking in another test drive shortly, and I will let you guys know how it went, okay? Thank you guys. You guys have a good one. God bless.